Hi, Howard Deal here with the General Agency. And if you're an employer that's borderline 50 employees and you're not sure if you are subject to the Affordable Care Act, I'm going to show you how to do a quick and easy calculation in Excel that can walk you through the process. So we'll show you how to calculate the hours for your part-time people to see if they're equivalent of a full-time employee. And uh, we'll do it in Excel. And it's a quick and easy calculation. Shouldn't take you more than five or 10 minutes to set it up. And we'll go through a step-by-step -step process in Excel uh, to show you how to do that calculation. So let's get started. To make a full-time equivalent employee calculator in Excel is very easy. Uh, there's only a few steps, so if you want to follow along in Excel, uh, you'll want to open your Excel spreadsheet here and uh, make sure you're using the same cells that I am. So uh, I put a label in this first cell, which is B, uh, B1, is column B, row 1. And the first label I'm going to type in here is the total number of full-time employees. And uh, I'll show you why we're going to use that cell there in just a minute. Uh, the next, if you go to uh, column, uh, column B, row 5, which is cell B5, and type in total hours of all part-time employees. There, we're going to label that. Then the, set, the next cell, which is going to be B6, hours per week to be considered full-time. And then in cell number seven, uh, the total number of full-time employee equivalents, so or FTE. So the total number of full-time employees, let's say you have 40. I'm just going to use this as an example. This is going to be different for your company. But uh, it's important to put the total number of full-time employees here. So that's going to be in cell uh, C3. Then the next cell, let's say that the total number of hours for all your part-time employees is 444. Now, the uh, IRS considers uh, full-time to be 30 hours or less. So the hours work per week to be considered full-time is 30. So you'll want to put that there and make sure you put in the number 30. And we'll change this to monthly here in a minute. I'll show you how to do a monthly calculation. It's, all you have to do is make a simple change to this sheet and uh, it will do it monthly for you as well. So um, what we're going to do in the next cell right here, we're going to type in this formula. So type in the equal sign and then the sum of C5, which will be the sum of and then open parentheses, C5, close parentheses, then the divided by sign, and then the open parentheses, cell C6, and close parentheses. So if you, uh, if you click on this, it should light up these two uh, cells here, so you'll have the C5 and the C6. That's why we want to make sure that you're on the same row and column as I am. So once you've done that, it'll give you the calculation here of uh, 14.8 is the total number of full-time equivalent employees you have. So uh, all of your part-time employees added together here, all of their part-time hours divided by 30 is 14.8. So on the, uh, let's go to the next sheet. I'm going to show you because this number here, we're going to round down. So I'll show you how to do a round down calculation and it will help you with, uh, with calculating this total here. Okay, so if you go to cell E as in Edward, 6, so you'll be in cell E6 right here. Uh, type in uh, round down, so you'll know that this is going to be for the round down function. Uh, then skip to the next cell down, which will be E7. And you'll type in this formula here, which is the round down. And you're going to put the equal sign type in round down and it should start auto filling for you and if you double click on it, it'll just click on the round down and then the open parentheses c7 and then a comma and the number zero and a close parenthesis here and then once you hit enter it'll round your total number of full-time employees to 14. now uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add these two numbers here together and so let me show you how to do this one we're going to change cells again here Okay, so go to cell B9 and type in a uh, total number of full-time and full-time equivalent uh, employees here and this just to label it. And then on this formula here, we're going to have the sum, so you'll do the equal sign and then the sum, open parentheses of C3, which is here, 
and then a comma, and then E7, and then close parentheses. And then here, this will give you the total number of uh, full-time employees and the full-time equivalent employees here added together. Uh, this is showing a number of 54, which if you're using this for the Affordable Care Act to do your calculation, you'll know that you're over 50 employees and you are subject to the Affordable Care Act. If this number is 49 or less, then you are not subject to the Affordable Care Act. But keep in mind, this is, uh, this is per week. So uh, on the, for the Affordable Care Act, what they do is they look back the previous year to find out if you are over 50 uh, and subject to the Affordable Care Act. So you would have to do this 52 times. Or uh, an easier way to do it is instead of per week here, uh, let's change this to a uh, month and uh, this number here, 30, we're going to change this to 130 because the IRS does uh, consider 130 hours per month to be uh, a, uh, a full-time employee. So uh, we changed that to 130 and let's say that these numbers here are a lot higher now, but let's add another four on there. This is showing that we have uh, a total of... Uh, 34 part-time employees that have all added up to uh, 34 because we're rounding down and then the total number of full-time equivalent is now 74 because these two numbers are added together and that will give you the monthly calculation so thank you for watching remember if you like this video to hit the like and subscribe button and as always if you need help with your benefits you can give us a call we have a network of brokers nationwide that can help you our telephone number here is 972 466-2915 and once again have a great day.